This is podcast 2L1 for Spiritual Dimensions of Death and Dying. Take a look at this picture and see if you can tell me what's wrong with it. In the picture, a physician in his white coat with his stethoscope forbids death in the form of a skeleton from claiming his patient. He holds her hand, she clings to his. She's not looking too well, pretty thin and emaciated. Clearly, well, one of the things that's wrong with it is that it implies that medicine has the ability to forbid death. Can medicine forbid death? Well, in reality, of course, medicine cannot forbid death. The fact of the matter is that physicians might want to forbid death, and they might be pretty good at solving some problems and fixing some things. But the sad reality is that the physician, all of of medicine, all of medical science, does not have the ability to forbid death from claiming a human being. All patients die. So what happens then when death claims the patient anyway, in spite of all the physician can do? Most physicians, most nurses, most PAs, most everybody in healthcare has the experience at some time in their career of having done the very best that they can do for a patient, but it isn't good enough. One of the reasons that this is an unhealthy viewpoint is that a physician or an nurse practitioner or an RN or a physician assistant or anybody else involved in healthcare who has such a self-understanding. One of the things that has been fairly well documented is that terminally ill patients often report feeling abandoned by their caregivers. And the reality is that studies that have been done indicate that the terminally ill are in fact marginalized and isolated by their caregivers. People are less willing to see them, less willing to respond to the call button, less willing to spend time with them. So what needs to happen is that health caregivers need to learn how to be with the dying. Perhaps the heroic image could be exchanged for one a little less godlike, a little more human, a little more vulnerable. One that recognizes that the physician, the nurse, the PA, and all the other healthcare professionals are not omnipotent, but rather are themselves dying human beings like the dying human beings that he or she cares for. Perhaps then the care of the dying would improve because we would recognize that we really don't have 